friends costing capsule number 4 is for semi variable cost you have studied classification of cost based on behavior where we classify the cost into variable fixed and semi variable so this is the third one friends semi variable cost is partly fixed it is partly variable okay but looking at the cost how do i identify the question is how to identify the semi variable cost friends look at this table in week 1 i produce 500 units in week 2 i produce 600 units so basically my production has increased by 100 units and look at the cost in week 1 i incurred 1500 in week 2 i incurred 1700 so basically my production has increased by 100 and my cost has increased by 200 rupees okay now i want to know this cost this cost 15 and 1700 is it variable is it fixed or it is semi variable how do i know so firstly i will check is the amount same for week 1 week 2 is it same no and because it is not same it is not fixed cost if it were same 15 and 1500 or 17 and 1700 then would have been fixed okay this is not a fixed cost okay now if it is not fixed let me check is it variable okay so for that we need to calculate per unit in week 1 15 and cost for 500 units you get 3 per unit and week 2 1700 cost for 600 units you get 2.83 is per unit constant 3 and 2.83 is it constant no and because it is not constant friends it is not a variable cost now it is not fixed it is not variable then what it is friends if it is neither fixed nor variable then it is semi variable so have a look at this if the total cost is same then it is fixed if cost when it is same then it is variable and if it is neither fixed nor variable then it is semi variable and friends this is the only way to identify i cannot directly jump to a conclusion i cannot directly you know look at this cost 15 and 17 and say that is a semi variable no i cannot directly say i have to think this order only i have to first prove that it is not fixed it is not variable and that is why it is semi now once you have identified that this cost is semi variable now i need to know further that semi variable means partly fixed partly variable then how much part of this is fixed and how much is variable basically what i want to do now is bifurcation how much part is fixed and how much part is variable to bifurcate there are this three how will you think understand my cost is increased by 200 why because my production has increased by 100 and the cost which increases with increase in production has to be variable because fixed cost does not change so this 200 is definitely my variable cost for 100 units that i have made additional so per unit it comes to 2 friends this is step number 1 we find out variable cost per unit by taking difference in cost upon difference in unit we get 2 per unit as variable now once you get the variable per unit there are two more steps what you have to do is take any one week under consideration you can take one or two whatever you want i have considered week 1 using week 1 as a base now find out the total variable cost for week 1 in week 1 i produce 500 units so 500 into 2 i get the total variable cost as 1000 so in week 1 total variable cost is 1000 so how much would be fixed step 3 total cost is 1500 out of which 1000 is variable so balance remains 500 that is so friends this is how we bifurcate the semi variable cost into variable and fixed this capsule is so very important it will help you in the chapter cost sheet in the chapter standard costing in the chapter budgetary control this is the most important capsule you need to know what is semi variable cost how to identify the cost and how to do the breakup This is the most important capsule. 